Okay, headliner's coming off. Yeah. We got a, a sweet new fabric that we're gonna throw on here and we just have to uh, At a Rally Auto Parts, our favorite place to go to get parts. So we're gonna get some stuff for our Ford Ranger project. So we got a whole list of stuff that that thing needs. The poor girl's a little bit wore out, 169K on her. We're, we're gonna juice her back up and it's gonna be great. He's gonna help us out. And uh, I think we're gonna get a, a nice little pile of parts for this thing and get her nice and fresh to match that new headliner. <laughs> That's right, the snake skin. <laughs> Look at this list. You spent a lot of time on that post-it right there. A lot of time. Heavy solid into that, you know? <laughs> Throttle positioning Throttle sensor? Throttle position sensor, yeah. And I know it doesn't have coil packs, but I think it's got like a distribution something. Three years of Ranger. Oh, three. Alrighty then, well, thank you. We got the list, thank yeah. you. See you on Monday. Right. Thank, thank you very you much, you appreciate it. The sickest Ranger you ever did see, Terry, let me tell you. Big semi truck guy. Sick, dude. Yeah, I think it's sick. Yeah, it's sick, dude. This matches the wheels so good. Full of Pro Tech. Pro Tech. Oh. That's so money, it hurts. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, we brought in the ringer. <laughs> Ranger ringer. That's right. What are you tackling first here? We're doing the uh, the clutch master cylinder on the Ranger. I've never done one before. It's, it's kind of <laughs> weird. Yeah, you're just the man for the job. It's, it's not that bad once you figure out the steps, but there's just a bunch of weird little clips and stuff that you have to figure out how to get them undone and what sequence to do it. Pieces are coming together. It's back in the hole. That's always good. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, it went away. Yeah, not really. No. There. Yeah. Um, I have the grill for the range dog and so I wrapped this bit gray and this is like it came as a different kind of just plasticky gray. We want it to be blink. So I'm gonna take it out so I can paint it. Does it come out? It looks like it, yeah, it comes off. It's gotta figure out, out how. Yeah. Over here. Dude, we've been, we've been jamming on the orangey and for whatever reason I can't get the clutch to bleed in that thing. One day I went out there. Clutch goes to the floor, can't put it in gear. I'm like, all right, so it needs probably a master cylinder, clutch master. Put a new clutch master in it, and we still can't get it to bleed. Bleed like a whole bottle of fluid through it, can't get it to bleed. So I'm thinking either the clutch like exploded or something somehow, or the uh, slave cylinder is bad. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna light up a clutch and a slave cylinder just in case. A rally auto parts for the way. Uh, an actual clutch in stock, dude. And the clutch disc. Load it out. Oh yeah, you betcha, dude. Reasonable. So we ended up getting the pressure plate, clutch disc, slave cylinder, two bottles of fluid, uh, and then the only thing we have to wait for is the flywheel tomorrow, but like, they had all the stuff in stock. That's crazy. A little hub action here. Look at that. So we can put the Momo steering wheel on. Exactly. Big Momo guys around here. 
Yeah, so Dylan, this ranger that we're building for you, uh, we thought we'd give you an update. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah. uh, so this thing had a uh, broken retainer spring, so one of the shoes was kind of floating around, and then it also had a bad wheel cylinder, so we had fluid all over all the brake linings and stuff. So I took it all apart, cleaned it up, got a fresh wheel cylinder in there, new spring kit, new shoes, new, uh, new brake drum, and we are good to go. All right, looks a lot better in there than it did before, that's for sure. This is still the slave cylinder issue? Yeah. It doesn't fit? No, it does. It works. Oh, okay. Sweet. Is this the magic fix? I hope so. Yeah. I have a good feeling about it. All right. I figured I'd clean as I go, because this thing definitely needs a bit of cleaning. But currently trying to fit the uh, steering wheel hub adapter we got, so we can get our racing wheel in here. I have figured out that it is the right spline. Where is it? It does fit, and that is awesome, because we did not know if it was going to fit or not, because Amazingly, it's really hard to find a steering wheel hub adapter for a 2003 Ford Ranger. Who'd have known? So I'm trying to figure out how to cut this thing out, but still retain the horn. So... If I cut it... <laughs> uh, right from ball joint. This thing had about like a half an inch of play in it, so... It was not in ideal condition, so it was a little bit of a bugger to get it in there. Gotta get the old one out and get the new one in, but we figure it out. So it looks like our holes are lined up to be like that. So we're gonna have to like reposition the steering wheel on the rack, but when it's done, it'll sit just like that. Splash beef. <laughs> 